Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Rafael. How are you? Thank you for being early to the class. Well, um, I'm fine, thank you. And I try to stay always early. Okay, yes, I can see that. Let's wait for the classmates uh, to join the class. And how are you? How have you been doing? How was your day? Well, um, um, something, how do you say, raro. Weird? Weird. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, some, some weird because I don't feel not good. You Maybe. don't feel very good. What happened to you? Oh, uh, well, um, I feel, I feel, no, um, como gripado, no sé, no? Like, would you have flu symptoms? Uh, yeah. And, and I have uh, headaches and, and my body, dolor de cuerpo. <laughs> A body ache? Body ache. Um, but um, right now I feel better. You feel better right now. You Have you taken medicine? Pills? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Biorate and, and acetaminophen. Acetaminophen. Okay, very good. Yes. So now you feel better. You feel like yeah. a little bit stronger, feel a little bit better. Okay, yeah. perfect. Hopefully it's not something like it's not going to develop to develop in something worse. Hopefully. Like in a big flu symptoms or something like that, right? Like coughing and sneezing all the time and fever uh, I I don't uh, I don't no he tenido fiebre no I don't um no sé por qué me trago todo <laughs> cuando estoy solo hablo un montón de cosas pero con otra persona me cuesta me, no me fluye yeah, I understand. Um, um, hasta me lo que le iba a decir. <laughs> okay, no problem, but you haven't had fever, right? You haven't had fever, or just a little bit of body ache and like flu symptoms, right? Yeah. Okay, but have you ha have you gone to the doctor or, or not yet? No, because I I have to go the the insecurity social insecurity and and that place I lost I lost very much time and I I bear to take a a viral grip mm -hmm. and acetaminophen and 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 wait the effect yes it's better to wait so probably it's just a little bit of flu symptoms and probably they are going to disappear but yeah you you waste a lot of time right in social security and seguro social right you have to spend uh, the uh, whole uh, day social and security <laughs> and security is in seguro social right yeah sometimes it's but it's good for you if you feel worse. Uh, if it's it's good for you to go, right? It's good. But it's okay if you feel better. It's okay. Very good. Thank you, Rafael, for sharing that information with me. Now uh, we have Ana Lopez. Are you there, Ana Lopez? Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello. How are you? How was your day? Oh, I'm very tired. <laughs> You're very tired. Did you work a lot today or did you do a lot of things? I, uh, yes, I work a lot. You worked a lot. Okay, we were talking with Rafael and he had like some flu symptoms today, but now he feels better. That's what he said. That's what he told me. And you have have you feel have you been feeling better or uh, uh 
just just tired, right? Just a little bit tired, but you're okay right now, right, Anna? I sorry, teacher. Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat, please. <laughs> yes. No, we were talking with Rafael that he was feeling kind of sick because he has like flu symptoms. Ay, no lo entendí mucho. Creo que está enfermo. ¿Qué, qué pasó? No entendí. Ajá, está un poco enfermo de, de gripe, ah, okay. dice. Pero ahora ya se siente mejor, dice. Okay. <laughs> Pero usted se ha sentido bien, se ha estado sintiendo bien, todo bien, solo ah, un poco yes, cansada. Sí, solo cansada, Tita. Okay, solo very cansada, good. Cansada, con mucho trabajo. A lot of work to do, yes. I I imagine that. Okay. We are we are waiting right now for for the rest, but okay. I have some news for you. Tengo noticias. Okay, okay. and now Olga is connecting. Hi, Olga. How are you? How are you, Olga? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mute. Um, I'm better. You're today. better. Yesterday, what you were sick, right? Yes. Okay. But, but I, I better today. You feel better today. Okay, perfect. Now, we were talking that with Rafael that he was feeling kind of sick today, that he has like flu symptoms. Mm. Yes. But now he's not, better. Not now. COVID? <laughs> <laughs> not COVID. No, hopefully not, right? <laughs> hopefully not. Now he, he's been feeling better. He took some pills, said a man of fan, things like that. But now mm -hmm. he feels better. And it's good to see you better also, Olga. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Now, I have some news. As I was telling Anna and Raphael before, and as you know, we have an in the Independence uh, Month, right? Like we celebrate Independence of El Salvador in September 15, right? Mm -hmm. So we will have vacation on that day. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Very uh, nice. Very <laughs> nice, right? We will have vacation and we won't have classes on Thursday. That's the 15, right? Thursday. Yes. Okay, but... We are going mm -hmm. to have classes on Friday, right? On the 16th. So we are going to um, recover that that day, right? Is that okay, okay for you or do you have any problem? Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. okay. Yeah. Everybody, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, yes, because if you have any problem or any issue with your schedule, because we don't know, right? You already had that day off, the Fridays. Mm -hmm. But if you have any problem, you just let me know. And, and if it is not possible for you or the most of you, probably mm -hmm. we can move it to the 15. But if it is okay, we are going to have classes on the 16. Okay. Okay. Lo voy a decir en español porque parece que Alejandra se estaba conectando. El 15 de septiembre, como ya saben, el día de la independencia. independencia pero vamos a tener libre. Vamos a tener vacaciones el 15. Entonces, solo para que sepan, y la vamos a reponer el viernes 16. Si tienen algún problema, me escriben al grupo y ahí, pues, yo puedo reportarlo, decirle uh -huh. a, a las personas de administración, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. So, do you have any question right now? Uh, no question. No questions. Uh -huh. Ok, perfect. So, we are going to begin with the class right now. And we are going to review a little bit of the topics that we were studying before. Yesterday we were talking about what? ¿De qué estábamos hablando ayer? What we were talking about yesterday? Movies. Movies, right? Movies. Mm -hmm. We were talking about different movies. And actually this week we are going to talk a lot, a lot about movies, describing movies, uh, choosing our favorite movies also and we have also some titles and mm -hmm. genres like the, the kind of movies that we like and we don't like and mm -hmm. also we were going to talk about um, how to describe movies that's what we are going to do right now and that's the reason why I asked you for uh, something extra what, what, was, what was your homework ¿Cuál era la tarea que oh. tenían? 
five adjectives, right? Mm -hmm. So did you bring your adjectives? What adjectives did, did you investigate? Who wants to tell me? Volunteer? Me. Okay, Rafael, tell me. Be there. Be there. How do you spell be there? B I T T E R. B I T T R. Bitter. What is bitter, Rafael? Is agrio. Agrio. Okay, agrio, like bitter, right? Agrio, very good. Um, and what what else did you investigate? Far. Far. Like far. this? Yeah. Okay. What is the meaning of far? Lejos. Lejos. Very good. What else did you investigate? Uh, great. Great. What is the meaning of great? Uh, fabuloso. Fantastico. Fabuloso. Fantastico. Very good. Very good. And another one? Hot. Hot. Like this? Caliente. Caliente. Very good. And what else? And short. Short. What is the meaning? Uh, corto o pequeño. Corto o pequeño. Very good. Very good. You see, we have five adjectives. Now we need more, right? Let's see who wants to share their, ad their adjectives. Alguien más? Somebody else? Ana. Ana, okay, Ana. Go ahead. Um, solo que no sé si se pronuncian así, teacher, eso sí, no lo sé, pero como Siley. Siley? Siley. How do you spell Siley? S-I-L-L-Y. Oh, silly. Ah, silly. Okay. Silly, yes, yeah, silly. What is the meaning of silly? Tonta. Tonto, tonto. Very good. Like silly, right? Like dumb. Very good. Another one? Um, old. Old. What is the meaning? Extraña. Ah, odd. O-D-D, -D, right? Uh -huh. Okay, extraño. Extraño. Very good. And another one? Uh, dreadful. Terrible. Terrible. What is the meaning? What, what, what did you say? Repeat it, please. Uh, dreadful. 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 The meaning is terrible, right? And what else? Yeah. Um, I don't know how to say it, but ridiculous. Es que son, son palabras que no las, las desconocía, teacher. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. What is ridiculous? Ridículo o ridícula. Ridículo o ridícula, verdad. Okay, so we have silly, odd, dreadful, ridiculous, and what else? The last one? Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Terrific. Terrific. Fan what is terrific? Uh, fantastic. Fantastico. Fantastico, fantastico. Very good. So we have terrific, fantastico, fantastica. Very good. Now I need another person to share the adjectives, please. Me teacher. Who said me teacher? Ah. Ah, Olga. Olga. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Okay, perfect. Go ahead, Olga. Bright. Bright. What is bright? Brillante. Bright is like this, right? Bright, brillante. Very good. Another one? Calm. Sorry? Calm. 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 Uh -huh. Like this. What is the meaning? Uh, sosegado. Sosegado. Uh -huh. Okay. In this word, we don't pronounce the L, right? Calm. It's just como si no existiera la L. Calm. Oh. Calm. Uh -huh. Calm. Very good. Another one? Steady. How do you spell steady? S T E A D A J. Yes. Like this? Estable. Estable. Steady, right? Estable. Estable. Steady. Steady. Okay. And another one? Um, hectic. H E 
T T I C. Headache. What is the meaning? Agitado. Ah, uh, no, it's, it's no, it's a. Uh, uh, H E C T I C. H E. Uh huh. C T I C. Hectic. 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 Uh -huh. What is the meaning? Agitado. 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 And the last one? Diligent. Diligent. What is the meaning of diligent? Diligente. Diligente. ¿Qué, qué, who is someone diligente? Diligent. ¿Quién sería alguien dirigente para ustedes? Um, alguien que hace las cosas uh, de la mejor manera y rápidas. Very good. Someone who tries to do the best and as fast as possible. Very good. Perfect. Now, another volunteer. Thank you, Olga. Another volunteer. Me, Elena. Okay, Elena, go ahead. Okay. Um, I have, be, I don't know this this pronunciation, but mm -hmm. bitter. Bitter, like this? Bitter. Um, what is the um, meaning of bitter? Yeah, it's agrio. Agrio, another agrio. Okay, very good. Another one? Um, feeble. Evil, like this? No, feeble. F E E B. No, I want to see. F. No, F. first letter is F E E B L E. Feeble. What is the meaning of feeble? Devil. Devil. Okay, very good. Another one? Healthy. Healthy. Very good. What is the meaning? Saludable. Saludable. Very good. Another one? Mid. Mid. How do you spell mid? Mid. M E A N. M. M and then E uh -huh. no, I, I just, yeah. <laughs> E A N <laughs> Mim Min Min Okay Min what is the meaning? Ah is Tacaño Tacaño Very good and the last one um, old. Old. Okay. Old. Yeah. What is the meaning? Viejo. Viejo, vieja. Very good. Perfect. Do we have another one? Alguien más? O eso sería todo. Alguien más hizo la tarea? Someone else did the homework? Me, teacher. Okay, Alejandro, go ahead. Um, empty. Empty. What is the meaning of empty? Mm, vacío. Vacío. Very good. Another one? Rude. Rude. Very good. What is the meaning? Como grosero. <laughs> Como grosero. Very good. Grosero. Very good. And the next one? Poor. Poor. Very good. What is the meaning? Um, pobre. Pobre. Uh-huh. Very good. Next one? Um, deep. Deep. How do you spell deep? Uh, D-E-E-P. Deep. Okay. And what is the meaning of deep? Como profundo. Profundo. Is it not deep? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, profundo. Very good. And the last one? Mm, complex. Complex. Very good. What is the meaning of complex? Como com complicado, complejo. Complejo, complicado. Very good. 
Very good. Thank you very much, Alejandra. And another one, do we have another person or that's it? Alguien más que haya escrito los cinco adjetivos? Yes, I have five. Okay, Felix. What do you have? Okay, uh, the first one, um, strong. Strong, what is the meaning of strong? Uh, fuerte. Fuerte, very good. Another one? Uh, cheap. Cheap, like this? Uh, yes. What is Barato. the meaning? Barato, very Barato. good. Another one? Uh, generous. 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 Okay, generous. What is the uh, meaning? Generoso. 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 Okay. Generoso. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Generoso, right? Very good. Next one. Uh, Messi. Messi. Uh huh. Es como desordenado. Desordenado. Uh huh. Uh, and the last one, uh, safe. Safe. What is the meaning of safe? Uh, seguro. Seguro. De seguridad, verdad. Very good, very good. Sí. Thank you. Do, you. do we miss another one? No, right? That's it, right? Strong, cheap, generous, messy, and safe. Thank you, Felix. Do we have another person or, or that's it? That's it, right? Okay. Perfect, now we have a lot of adjectives. We are going to use adjectives and we are going to study in adjectives because we need <laughs> to um, know vocabulary to describe movies, right? Todo nos sirve, todo nos va a servir para describir las eh, películas o describir las historias, todo va a ser útil, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a ver cómo se pronuncia porque vi que hay unos que no sabían cómo se pronunciaba algunos adjetivos. Entonces sería, por ejemplo, el primero es bitter. Ya tenemos ahí el bitter. significado, bitter. bitter. Next one is far. far. Next one is great. Great. Hot. Great. Short. Silly. Odd. Dreadful. Ridiculous. Terrific. Okay. Now we have another one, bright, calm, steady, hectic, diligent, bitter, feeble, healthy, mean, and old. Y los últimos, empty, rude, Poor, deep, complex, strong, cheap, generous, messy, and safe. Okay, do you have any question about pronunciation, meaning, questions? No hay preguntas? No, no, teacher. No question. Uh -huh. I heard somebody like, I, th I, I thought mm -hmm. I, someone was like trying to say something, but if you don't have any question, or uh, we are going to continue, or if you have questions, just stop me, right? You can raise your hand or and you can say, teacher, please stop, right? I don't understand this. But, entonces, we have different adjectives, right? We have these adjectives. We are going to save these ones to describe movies. Vamos a, a tratar de recordar estos. Ya ven que entre todos hicimos una lista grande y todos nos sirven, ¿verdad? Dreadful, ridiculous, todos nos van a servir. Pero hay diferentes tipos de eh, adjetivos. We have different types of vocabulary and we have different types of adjectives. And we have a uh, present participles or past participles that we can use as, as adjectives also. Entonces, we have participles, right? If you, si ya vieron la plataforma, if you check the platform, 
we have two different um, ways of, or two, two kinds of adjectives. First, we have participles, participles. We have, uh, we, we can use participles as verbs and we can use participles as adjectives, right? So an adjective describes a noun. Un adjetivo describe un nombre, ¿verdad? Lo usamos para describir un nombre. Example, the white cat ran away from John. The white cat ran away from John. What is the adjective? One. White. 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 Exactly. No. Colors. White. Exactly. White. Colors are adjectives. Los colores son adjetivos. So white is the adjective. The movie was really exciting. What is the adjective? Exciting. 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 Very good. Exciting. So as you can see, uh, participles, um, sometimes they, they end with ing, right? And they can be adjectives also. And we have here present and past participles. We can have a present participle and a past participle as an adjective. Los dos, un presente participio y un pasado participio pueden servir como adjetivos. Y eso es lo que vamos a ver, cuál es la diferencia entre los dos, ¿verdad? For example, we have here exciting. What is the meaning of exciting? Emocionante. Emocionante. Right? Emocionante. Like we were reading in the previous uh, sentence, the movie was really exciting. Mm -hmm. And we have excited. Excited is emocionado, right? Describes the feeling of a noun. So one, one describes a noun, uno describe el nombre, and the other one describes the feeling of a noun. El otro describe el sentimiento del nombre, lo que está sintiendo, lo que estamos describiendo, ¿verdad? Exciting, excited. So that is the difference. We have present participles and past participles. And we have here the rules that we studied in the platform. Aquí tenemos reglas, ¿verdad? Uh, present and past participles. The museum is interesting. I am interested. You see, it's different. Present and past. Presente participio, pasado participio. Work is tiring. I am tired. You see, it's describing how it, how uh, the work is, right? Está describiendo el trabajo. ¿Cómo es el trabajo? Cansado. Cansado. ¿Y cómo estoy yo? Cansado. Uh, I am tired. Está describiendo los que yo siento, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa es la diferencia. Uno describe cómo es el nombre y otro lo que sienten, ¿verdad? The movie is exciting. La película es emocionante. But I am excited. Yo estoy emocionado, ¿verdad? I am excited. And we have here another example. The bored man went to sleep during the discussion. The boring man put other people to sleep during the discussion. In the first sentence, the past participle bored is used to mean that the man himself was bored. In the second sentence, the present participle boring is used to mean that the man was boring to others. Uh, with boring and bored, we have to be careful. Para bored y boring, tenemos que ser también cuidadosos también con los demás adjetivos. ¿Por qué? Porque si decimos... Um, the class is, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir la clase es aburrida, ¿cuál, eh, ¿cuál puedo ocupar? Bored or boring? The class is bored or boring. the class is boring. 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 boring, right? Boring. The class is boring. The class is boring. I'm, I'm bored. Exactly. I am bored. I am bored, right? The, the students are bored. Los estudiantes están aburridos, bored. Or the teacher is bored. El teacher es Bored, but aburrido, pero boring, no, verdad? The class is boring. Very good, perfect. And now we are going to practice, okay? We are going to practice because later uh, we are going to have a homework. Um, participles as adjectives. Present participles. Now we have, here we have more examples, right? Stephen King's books are fascinating. 
And here, the past participle, I am fascinated by Stephen King's books. The last James Bond film was boring. I was bored by the last James Bond film. The new Halle Berry movie sounds interesting. I am interested in the new Halle Berry movie. We are going to do the same. Vamos a completar las oraciones, complete the sentences. Then we are going to compare. So um, we are going to do the first one, okay? I'm going, lo voy a hacer un poco más pequeño para que podamos escribirlos. Entonces, we have here, uh, the first one says, Johnny Depp is a very amazed actor or amazing actor? What do we use? Amazing. Amazing actor. Amazing, exactly, amazing. Next one, I find animated films amused. So we are going to change it, right? What is the past participle of amuse? ¿Cuál es el pasado participio de amuse? Amused. Amusing. Amused yes. con de, ¿verdad? Y el presente participio, amusing, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cuál vamos a ocupar? ¿El presente o el pasado participio? Amused or amusing? Amused. Amusing. Amusing. Or amused? Amused. 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 Let's see. Amused. Amused. I'll find animated films amused. Amused. ¿Qué está describiendo amused ahí? ¿Lo que yo siento o a la película? A feeling. A feeling? A the film. Exactly. Está describiendo la película. ¿Cómo es la película? Amusing. What is the meaning of amusing? Divertido, ¿verdad? Entretenido, amusing. So, I find animated films amusing. Está describiendo la película. Next one. I am not in science fiction, science fiction movies. Internet, no, this is not internet. This is interest. Interest. I am not interested or I am not interesting. Interested. Interested. Very interesting. Good. Interested. The past, right? The past participle interested. Is describing the feeling that I feel, right? Está describiendo el, lo que yo siento con las science fiction movies. No me interesa, oh. ¿verdad? Now, I am boring by watching television or I am bored? Bored. 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 Perfect. Bored. Bored. Bored, exactly, bored, right? Bored, interested, and a key is missing an A, amazing. Now, next one. I thought Jurassic Park was an excited or exciting book. Exciting book. Exciting. Exciting, exactly, very good, exciting book. Perfect. Next one, I'm... Fascinated by J.R.R. Tolkien's novels. Fascinate or fascinated? Fascinating or fascinated? Fascinated. Fascinated. I'm fa fascinated. Fasc exactly. Fascinated. Perfect. Fascinated. Fascinated. Exactly. Now, and the last one. It's surprised that horror movies are so popular. It's surprised. Or is surprising? Surprising. 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 Exactly. Surprising. Perfect. You see, you already know the difference, right? Ya saben la diferencia. Uno describe el nombre y otro describe cómo se sienten, ¿verdad? Perfect. Questions about this? Preguntas? Questions? No. No. Okay. Perfect. Now, next one, let's see. Ah, this is more um, exercises, like more, more examples, right? We usually use the past participle ending in ED to talk about how someone feels. Lo mismo, está explicando lo mismo. I was really bored during the flight. Like, I, I was not really, I was really boring during the flight. She's interested in history, not she's really interested in history. Aquí, aquí está diciendo... Cómo se escriben y cómo no se escriben, ¿verdad? Mm. John's frightened of spiders, not John's frightening of spiders. 
And aquí dice, we usually use the present participle to talk about the person, thing, or situation with, which has caused the feeling. Entonces, aquí estamos hablando de los sentimientos y con el ING, lo que causa el sentimiento, ¿verdad? It was such a long, boring flight. I read a really interesting book about history. Many people find spiders frightening. Okay, perfect. Now, next one. This is just the, uh, the difference. No lo vamos a leer todos, ¿verdad? Pero, este, aquí están los dos ejemplos para que los miren mejor. These are the two ways to check the, these are participles, present participles and past participles, okay? And uh, we are going to repeat it just to check the pronunciation. Vamos a repetir para la pronunciación. La pronunciación es importante porque podemos confundirlos, ¿verdad? So, uh, we have here alarming. 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 Alarmed. Alarmed. Amusing. Amusing. Amuse. Amuse. Boring. 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 Bored. 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 Confusing. Confusing. Confused. Confused. Depressing. Depressed. 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 Embarrassing. Embarrassed. 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 Exciting. Exciting. Excited. 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 Exhausting. Exhausting. Exhausted. Exhausted. Fascinating. Fascinating. Fascinated. Fascinated. Frightening. 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 Frustrating. Frustrating. Frustrated. Frustrated. Interesting. Interesting. Interested. Interested. Perfect, very good, perfect. Now, hay muchos, ¿verdad? These are, these are not the, the only ones. There are a lot and a lot of present participles and past participles, a lot, a lot of, of examples. Muchos ejemplos. And this was what, this is uh, what I was uh, talking about previously about boring. I was talking to such a boring guy at the party. He talked about himself for an hour, okay? Alguien que es aburrido, boring, ¿verdad? Que me produce mm -hmm. aburrimiento. Pero si yo estoy aburrido, voy a decir bored, ¿verdad? Bored. She's a really interesting woman. Es una mujer muy interesante, ¿verdad? She's lived all over the world and speaks five languages. My math teacher at school was really frightening. He was always shouting at the students. Very good. Now, let's see here. We are going to practice. This is a uh, complete description below. Did we correct? form of these words. Okay, let's see. Si aquí vamos a vamos a ver este ejercicio y vamos a ver otro solo para practicar y después les voy a dejar la tarea para que ustedes la hagan. Porque mañana sí vamos a tener clase, ¿verdad? ¿Qué día no vamos a tener clase? Tomorrow. No. <laughs> Tomorrow, yeah, yes. September. Tomorrow, okay. yes. On Thursday, 15, right? El 15. El 15, remember, no class. El 15, no vamos a tener clase. ¿Por qué? Independence Day, right? Independence Day. In, okay. the, in the United States, is July the 4th. And in El Salvador, I... is September 15th. So, y el viernes vamos a tener clases o no vamos a tener clases? Sí. Yes. yes. Yes, we are going to practice with the platform. Very good. Vamos a tener clases el viernes. Así que, I'm sorry for you, right, that you are going to have classes on Friday. Now we are going to have this exercise. Vamos a tener este ejercicio. Dice, complete the description below with the correct form of these words. Complete la descripción con las, uh, con la forma correcta de las palabras. Las palabras están aquí, ¿verdad? Amaze. Annoy, confuse, disgust, embarrass, shock. Do you have any question about this? Amaze, annoy, confuse, disgust, embarrass, and shock? 
or do you do you understand all of them? Entienden todas? Uh, annoy, no, what's the meaning? The last... Annoy. Uh -huh. Annoy es algo que me puede molestar, ¿verdad? I can be annoyed or something can be annoying. Something is annoying alguien que molesta o algo que molesta mucho, ¿verdad? So that's annoy. Teacher, uh -huh. excuse me. Eh, would you uh, can uh, más zoom porque no se ve, no se puede, no se alcanza a leer. A ver. Like this? Ah, yes, thank you. Yes, okay, perfect. So it's amazed, annoy, confused, disgust, embarrassed, and shock. And we are going to read the, the reading is the same reading. La que está aquí arriba es la misma que está aquí abajo. Solo quería que leyeran las palabras. La maze, annoy, confused, disgust, and embarrass. We are going to read it first, and then we are going to practice once it is complete. It says it has, let's see here. It says I has, I has. No, that is not correct. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I had, right? Mm -hmm. I had a terrible time. Vamos a leerla, perdón. I had a terrible time at the movies. First, ticket cost $10. I was really, y tenemos que escoger uno de estos, amazed, annoyed, confused, disgust, embarrassed, shocked. By the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. I was a little, then there was a trash all over the theater. The mess was, the story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too. I like the special effects though. They were, y ahí falta una rayita, ¿va? they were, ¿cómo estuvieron los efectos especiales? Do you have mm. questions about the reading? ¿Preguntas? ¿No hay preguntas? Acerca de la lectura para empezar a completarla. Okay, we are going to begin completing the reading, okay? Vamos a ver. La primera, vamos a tratar de uh, completarla. I had a terrible time at the movies. A terrible time, right? Something awful happened. First, ticket cost $10. I was really, which one uh, Which one we are going to use? Amazed, annoyed, confused, disgust, and Disgust. Disgust. Shocked. No. Shock, probably shock, oh, right? Shock. I was really oh. shock or shocking? Shock. Shock, shock. exactly. Okay. Shock. I was really shocked by the price. Que caro, verdad? Está el cine. Mm -hmm. I was really shocked by the price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. I was a little embarrassed. Embarrassed. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa embarrassed? What is the meaning? Avergonzado. Avergonzado. Uh -huh. I was not embarrassing. I was embarrassed, right? Very good. Then there were there was a trash all over the theater. The mess was. What the meaning of of mess? Mess. El desorden. Ah, pues mes. El desorden era como era el desorden, porque dice que trash all over the theater, right? ¿Cuál podemos Annoyed. ocupar? Annoy. Annoy. Let's see. Annoy. Annoy or annoying? Annoying. 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 Yeah, annoying. can be because something that annoys me, right? Mm -hmm. The story was hard to follow. I always find thrillers too amazing. Amazing. But it says the story was hard to follow. La historia era difícil de seguir. Confused. Como que le costó entender mm -hmm. la película, ¿verdad? I always find thriller. What is a thriller? 
es un tipo de película, ¿verdad? Sí. Así que tienen como, este, bueno, algunas son un poco complicadas, que tienen acción, que tienen de investigación. Entonces, la historia como que le costó entenderla. Entonces, sí le costó entenderla como, ahí dice, I always find thrillers too. Confused. Confusing, yeah, confusing, right? Confusing with ING. Oh. Because it's describing the movie, right? The thriller, it was confusing. I like the special effects, though. They were... Amazing. 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 Very good. Amazing. Perfect. Very good. Now we have uh, everything completed, right? I think the discussing was something that was not placed there, but it's okay. Now, um, we are going to read it, right? Just to practice. Vamos a leerla. Y si tienen alguna pregunta, alguna palabra, me dicen. Now, um, I'm going to read it first and then you repeat, Okay. Okay, line by line. I had a terrible time at the movies. I had a terrible... Oh. Yeah, go ahead. I, I had a terrible time at the movies. I had a terrible time at the movies. First ticket cost $10. First, First ticket, cost ticket cost $10. I was really shocked by the price. I, I was really shocked, shocked by, by the price. price. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $10 bill instead of a 10. By mistake, I gave the cashier a $5 bill instead of a 10. Yes, exactly. A 10. I was a little embarrassed. I was a little embarrassed. Then there was a trash all over the theater. Then, then there, there was, was a trash all, all over the theater. The, the mess was annoying. The, the mess, mess was, was annoying. annoying. Exactly. The story was hard to follow. The story, the story was, was hard, hard to follow. follow. I always find thrillers too confusing. I always find thrillers too confusing. I like the special effects though. I, I like the special the effects, effects too. They were amazing. They, they were amazing. amazing. Okay, very good. Another one, aquí también podíamos haber es, eh, ocupado en esta parte. The mess was disgusting, right? Disgusting. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of disgusting? Enojado. Yeah, disgusting. Eno disgustado. Disgustado. Molesto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Another one? Another meaning of disgusting? Molesto. Molesto. Very good. I'm disgusted, right? Disgustado. Exactly. Now, uh, we are going to practice with this, right? With another. Since we are talking about movies, we are going to listen to this conversation. Probably we will be able to finish it. And then I will give you the homework. Let's see here. Just one minute. Creo que no voy a compartir el audio, así que voy a dejar de compartir ahorita. Primero la vamos a escuchar para que no se acostumbren a mi pronunciación. We are going to listen to that uh, conversation first. Mm -hmm. So you can check the pronunciation of like native speakers, right? And then we are going to practice it. In, in purse if you want to, right? Just let me check here. Mm -hmm. Just let me find Minute them. 13. What do you want to say? Unit 13. Are you able to listen to it? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, perfect. Now we are going to listen to it. Yes. And then we are going to practice in pairs, okay? Because I guess that you need to practice your pronunciation just to get to be better, okay? No problem. So we are going to play right now. That's entertainment. Page 86, exercise two, conversation. I think they're boring. Part A, listen and practice. It's so hot out. Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Hmm, maybe. What do you want to see? How about an X-Men movie? I've heard that the early ones are really interesting. For you, maybe. I'm not interested in action movies. Actually, I think they're boring. What about that new movie based on one of Stephen King's novels? I don't know. I'm always fascinated by his books, but I'm not in the mood for a horror movie. Well, what do you want to see? How about a Game of Thrones marathon? It's my favorite series ever. Okay, but only if you make us some popcorn. Page 86. Exer okay, perfect. Uh, were you able to listen to it? Do you want to listen to it again? Yes. yes. Okay, we're going to listen to it again. And pay attention. If you have any question about any word that you don't know, please let me know, okay? That's entertainment. Page 86. Exercise 2. Conversation. I think they're boring. Part A. Listen and practice. It's so hot out. Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Hmm, maybe. What do you want to see? How about an X-Men movie? I've heard that the early ones are really interesting. For you, maybe. I'm not interested in action movies. Actually, I think they're boring. What about that new movie based on one of Stephen King's novels? I don't know. I'm always fascinated by his books, but I'm not in the mood for a horror movie. Well, what do you want to see? How about a Game of Thrones marathon? It's my favorite series ever. Okay, but only if you make us some popcorn. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, we have listened to it twice. Do you have any question about this conversation? Preguntas? <clears throat> no, you understand everything, right? So it's so hot out. Uh, what movie um, that did he want to does uh, did he want to watch? Danny, what is the first movie that they mentioned? The X Men movie. X-Men movie. Do you like X-Men movies? Do you like action yeah. movies? Yes, right. Yes, yeah, some people are really like really hard fans. And then uh, she did she like the idea of watching an X-Men movie? Yes or no? No. No, right. Why? She says it's boring. She says, uh, she said that it was boring, right? That X-Men are actually. Uh, action movies were boring. Very good. And what happened with the Stephen King's novels? Did they like it or not? Only, only uh, books to um, Stephen King's, not pictures. Not oh. pictures, right? Like books are better than pictures for Stephen King, right? That she didn't like the idea. And at the end, what were they going to watch? Game of the Thrones. Game of Thrones. Do you like Game of Thrones? I really don't like. You don't like it. Not for no. me. <laughs> not, it's not for you. Yeah. But I don't understand because X Men X Men is for action, and Game of the Thrones uh, is action movies too. Yes, it's like it has some action, right? But it's also drama, and it has a lot of history right but not history but uh fictional history right mm -hmm. yes it's kind of different but okay very good now we are do you want to practice the conversation i guess we still have time okay okay we are going to just i will give you five minutes because i guess we just have five minutes and then you are going to come back just for you to practice okay let me see here Cuando abra las salas, ok, 
creo que solo hay seis, ¿verdad? De ustedes. Solo hay cinco. Cinco. Ok, voy a hacer dos grupos nada más y se cambian. You switch. Ok. Ok. Ok, go ahead. Teacher, uh, you forget put the the dialog on the screen. Yes, yes, but I sent you the link. Did you receive the link on on the chat? The link uh, of the video. No, I did. I didn't see the link. Mm. No. It's over there. It's in the chat. No, it's it's not there. I'm, I'm watching the, the chat, but uh, the link is not there. It's not there. Mm. Okay, I will send it to the group, okay? Thank you. Okay, it's there, it's in the WhatsApp group. You can check it right now. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes, got it. Okay. Uh, okay, Rafael. Dele, 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 dele. Uh, it's too hot out. Do you want to stay in and watch a movie this afternoon? Mm, maybe. What do you want to see? How about an ex movie? I have heard that the early ones are really interesting. For you, maybe. I'm not inter interesting in action movies. Actually, I think they're boring. What about that the new movie based on one of Stephen King novels? I don't know. I'm always fasc fascinated by his book but I'm not in the mood for horror, horror movies. Horror movie. Well, what do you want to see? How about a game of Thrones Marathon? If my favorite series ever. Okay, but only if you make, make us some popcorn. Con la condición de que haga popcorn. <laughs> but hoy con Alejandra. Yo soy Dani. Y, uh -huh. mm. y, y, okay. y Alejandra Dani. Bye. It's so hot out. Do you want to stay in an inn and watch a movie this afternoon? Mm, maybe. What do you want to see? 
How about an X-Men movie? I hear that the early ones are really interesting. For you, maybe. I'm not interested in action movie. Actually, I think they are boring. What about the new movie based on one of Stephen King's novels? Okay, welcome back. Uh, did you practice a little bit? Yes, we did. Okay, perfect. Now, the um, homework that we are going to have for tomorrow, en la tarea que vamos a tener, welcome back. Now, uh, la tarea que vamos a tener para mañana, the homework that we are going to have for tomorrow, is that we are going to have a similar conversation, right? Not the same one. We are going to, uh, you practice, you can practice in that conversation. I send it to the group. And tomorrow we are going to have like a, a more real conversation following the same, um, the same structure, but with your own information. You can change the series, you can change the movie, and you can change the adjectives. Van a utilizar, traten de utilizar los adjetivos que estudiamos hoy, los que ustedes pusieron y los que vimos, ¿verdad? The present participles and the past participles. So tomorrow we are going to provide our own information about movies, what we like and what we don't like, okay? Try to think about, uh, practice with the, with the, um, the adjectives and also with uh, the vocabulary of the conversation, okay? So we will practice tomorrow. Do you have any question? No question. Okay, no. so I will see you tomorrow and have a nice night and please rest, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice evening. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.